What's up, guys? Chase fan number nine here. Now, I'll bet some of you guys want to know my thoughts and opinions about Jimmy Johnson crashing out and missing the playoffs. If you can hear the sound, my voice, I feel kind. I feel kind of dejected. You know. I feel so bad for all the Johnson fans right, right now, especially guys like Brandon, Blue Jimmy 48 fan, and Ian Nation, Space Mouth Ferrari, and all those Johnson fans out there. Sorry, guys. But why does racing have to be so unfair? And also, before you guys ask, do not get me started with the whole Dylan Johnson incident. You got the whole Johnson Dylan thing that that was just un, an unintentional thing. I see some people are still mad at Austin Dillon. He deserves all the hatred that he does, but but yeah. Now I want to give you. Now it's time for me personally to give my thoughts and opinions about Johnson. Missing the playoffs after the crash. Yeah, like I said, kind of dejected. You know, Johnson was running good there as we were getting into the late June, like early to early July. But once we got to Kentucky, it just all went downhill. Yeah, there were times where he was above the playoff bubble, but today, but ever since then, it's just been bullshit since then. Uh, I understand he was rightfully upset with blingy after what happened to Glenn. And I know some of this was not uh, was not intentional for him to do this, but some people are just born are just unfortunate or just born unlucky. Fastenal curse, more like the ally curse. I'm like, you know, Johnson, he's my third favorite driver behind Elliot and Larson. I'll discuss more tomorrow, but I just want to get this out of the way. But yeah, kind of sad. Now, I know what everyone is going to say. They're probably going to say, oh, if this was Chase Selly in John's position, you'd be... You'd be raging. You'd probably broken the TV. Well, no shit. I would have been mad too if that was Chase Elliott. But. But. Yeah. Things were looking real high today. And if you're. If there's people out there who are done watching NASCAR. All because of what happened to Johnson. And you are a Johnson fan. I guess. See you next year in February, or should I say next season? <sighs> look, I don't wish anything. I never wished for Johnson. Look, you know what? Let me just say this. You know, I've been getting my, I've had my hopes up for Johnson regardless. Personally, for me, I've been, I was just trying to be positive and trying to be nice, but I can understand why lots of people are frustrated. We had so many chances to win, but we were just unfortunate. I'm surprised Johnson's made it up and uh, I'm I'm surprised Jimmy Johnson has made it this far up until today, or should I say yesterday, because it's midnight as of this video, without with him finishing every race and not scoring DNF. Well, unfortunately, today that streak came to an end. I found it funny he and Kyle Busch got their first DNS of the year in yesterday's race, but it's kind of funny, but yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of dejected. You know, all he can do now is that, you know, Johnson can't win a championship every year. I expect him to do good, but do I expect him to win a championship every year? No. If he makes the playoffs, he doesn't. And if he misses a round, he does. And if he wins the championship, if not, oh well. You know, every year it's going to be different.
yeah all, all we can do now is just like i said all we can do is now is the obvious thing and just just simply win a race and just forget this all ever happened i know johnson wants to win that roval race in three weeks from this past sunday i know damn well he does all we, just like we did last year we're gonna go into 2020 with our head held high and just just forget the past you know you know for me look i know i'm called i know my channel's called chase fan number nine but but i still i'm trying to show you guys that i still care about the other people and now i understand some people are not going to be happy with some of the guys around him for causing Johnson to miss the playoffs and all that, but you know, and also the arrow package p played in to this as well. So I guess it's kind of NASCAR's fault. Yeah, I think I think we should go back to just us the reg the old package. And look, I understand there's a lot of people out there that do not like the playoff system. I totally understand that. I don't hate the playoffs. I just don't. I'm just not a big fan of it. it. Sucks, but I I get everyone's point and I'll respect that. But and Cliff Daniels, I look. Don't put your hate out towards Cliff Daniels. I got to give credit to the guys at Hendrick for experimenting and giving it a try. But I know. Hold on. I know. Um, the guy. I know that. The people at um, Hendrick tried and tried to experiment by switching crew chiefs between Mendering and um, Cliff Daniels, but some things just can't just can't can't just happen right, you know. You know, if you guys are wondering about my past and watching NASCAR, aside before Chase Elliott, I grew up as a Dale Jr. fan. And as a Dale Jr. fan, I gotta admit, I never had nothing go my way either. I'm kind of sad he retired without winning a championship or the other crown jewels other than Daytona. But I'm happy with the wins that he got. Okay. Jr. will be a Hall of Famer, and you can't deny that. So will Jimmy Johnson. He's not going to be remembered for going winless for the first time last year and missing the playoffs this year. He wants to be remembered as a seven-time championship. Okay. And... And him winning a, an eighth probably may or may not happen. Johnson's not gonna go down that sh go down that easily. You really think so? Well, you can prove it. You can prove it next year. I'm at least happy that he at least won the clash. I know it's not a points paying race. I know the way he won it was kind of eh, but it is what it is. You Jimmy Johnson fans, you should be grateful that Jimmy Johnson has the championship he he's had, because if it if he wasn't here, this wouldn't be possible. I'm, I'm gonna keep rooting for Johnson regardless. Sometimes you just can't change things. And now, about the whole incident on stage three. I think Byron should have just given him a little bit of room and then Johnson would have been clear and this wouldn't have happened, but yeah. But look, I, look I'm, I'm good with everybody. I'm just trying to get people out of the waters of hatred and all that. But yeah. You think, you think Jimmy Johnson's had bad luck? Look at Dale Jr. Look at Carl Edwards, Mark Martin, Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon, all those guys, especially Carl Edwards, look at him. He had nothing go, he got robbed throughout his career. Not to mention, I like Carl Edwards, but I can see that the reason why he retired is because he just had nothing just go the way he, he wanted to. And I actually miss Carl Edwards. And Mark Martin, I wish he was still here, still racing. You know, Edwards and Martin, they'll be the two greatest drivers of all time to not win a championship. 
Okay. They were great drivers, and you can't deny that either. I just hope, but don't worry, Chase Elliott, you're st still my favorite driver, and I w hope you, I wish you the best of you in the playoffs. So yeah, yeah, I've been through this. Kind of been through this with Junior. The times where he could have made through the round but junior just like johnson junior had bullshit happen to him you guys need to take a look at junior's career too he had bullshit happen to him too i'm st there's some stuff i'm still mad about but but times have changed but don't worry junior will always be my all-time favorite next to chase elliott And also, the people all that you guys are hating on, that like Dylan, you guys are not giving Dylan any respect. I understand why people hate him, but hope it doesn't come back to haunt anyone. Hope it doesn't come back to haunt the, you guys out there. But it's just whatever now. All we can just do now, like I said, is just go out and win a race. Regardless. Let's just keep our hopes up. This will be a, if Johnson wins something, playoffs or not. I know he's out, but if Johnson wins a race in the playoffs, he's gonna prove you guys wrong and make. And this will be a huge redemption. I can feel him. His win streak is coming to an end. But am I gonna think he's gonna retire? I don't think so. But if he did. I'd be shocked, cause Johnson. This is not how he's. This is not how it's gonna work. He's not gonna go down without a fight. And by the way, look at Justin Allgaier. I know he's an extreme, but look at him. He, I gotta admit, he's doing good. He's just having bad luck, trying to get a win, especially last Saturday when he came so close. Don't worry, I, I like all Geyer. Anyways, hope he wins something this year before this year's out. So is Johnson, but yeah. And for the Johnson critics out there, I just wonder what's your opinion now. But anyways, that's pretty much it. So once again, that's all I gotta say. Sorry, G Johnson, Jimmy John. I feel so bad for the Jimmy Johnson fan base altogether. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Anyways, all we can do now is just move on. That's it. And just, let's just forget this ever happened. And, yeah. yeah I'm kind of sad, but at least my boy Chase Elliott's in, though. And also, congrats to Harvick on his win. I'm not going to sit here and act like I didn't think Harvick was going to be strong today. Well, he did. He dominated. He showed me he could win, and he did. And he rightfully deserved it, too. I don't mind someone else winning, like Bubba Walls. Good run for him. But, yeah. Review should be out tomorrow, I guess. But, yeah. I'll try and do the review tomorrow, and also, I'll try and post the reactions as soon as possible, but, yeah, so, anyways, on top of all that, congratulations to Harvick on your win, you rightfully deserved it, especially, if... but, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say there, but I just, I can't read minds, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, make sure to hit the bell down below to get notifications for my videos, and thank you for tuning in every day. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow, or should I say, in my next video. And until then, have a good one. Good night and goodbye. Thank you and good night, everyone. And until then, see you soon. Bye-bye.